Hello everyone and welcome to a very special edition of the Long Cove Club Insider. I'm Lauren Thompson here to bring you the latest news and upcoming excitement around Long Cove. Well, the new year has arrived and with it comes new leadership at Long Cove Club. The 2023 Board of Directors was recently announced at the annual meeting. Congratulations to our new board led by President Ray DiMuzio. We're all excited to see what's in store for Long Cove. The board will continue to meet on the third Monday of each month, unless otherwise noted, followed by a recap email from President DiMuzio himself to help keep you all informed about the happenings at the club. And speaking of club news, starting January 9th, there's a new face at Long Cove this year as we welcome our new GM and Chief Operating Officer, Mario Camposano, to the team. Mario impressed the search committee with his keen understanding of industry trends and thoughtful, candid approach. Mario has over 25 years of club experience, most recently as the Assistant General Manager at Congressional Country Club in Bethesda, Maryland. So be sure to say hello, introduce yourself if you see him around this month. Mario steps into the role as departing GM Leon Crimmins steps into retirement after six years of leadership and service to our club. Following a 30 plus year career in the club industry, Leon and his wife Dawn are headed to Florida where they look forward to enjoying time with family and grandchildren. Well deserved. Congratulations Leon and thank you for everything. Next, we're turning our attention though to the world of philanthropy. The Long Cove Fund organized their second group volunteer effort at the end of 2022, filling 150 pound bags with recycled oyster shells for the Coastal Discovery Museum. In spring, we will be invited back for phase two to place the bagged oysters in the shoreline and they will likely add to a portion of the tidal bank adjacent to Long Cove. Thanks to the volunteers for helping in this very important initiative and for contributing to the preservation of our ecosystem. Looking ahead, the Long Cove Fund is set to open the 2023 grant cycle later this month. 501c3 nonprofit organizations in Beaufort and Jasper counties are invited to apply if they have plans to improve health, housing, hunger, or educational issues in the area. If you are involved with a local nonprofit organization, please encourage them to apply. The application and details can be found on the Long Cove Club website under Caring Communities. In 2022 alone, the Long Cove Fund granted $290,300 to 46 unique organizations focused on health, housing, hunger, and or education. A club record for most grant dollars awarded in a single year. How's that? Now with your help and support, we're hoping to set a new record this year and surpass $2 million donated since the fund's inception in 2003. Now, after a holiday hiatus, the Cultural Association is back and ready for a great 2023. You know what they say in showbiz, the show must go on. And by popular demand, we're excited to announce a second comedy night that has been added to accommodate more members. Get ready to laugh with a lot of fellow members because our Long Cove actors always put on a great show in front of a sold out crowd. Next, here's something to sing about. Get this, the Long Cove Singers will begin rehearsals for their spring 2023 concert this month. Once again, director Barbara Sorkin will be collaborating with Charlie Curtis, musician extraordinaire on keyboard. After two very successful concerts, the group is looking forward to bringing you songs from the 60s and 70s, along with hits from the Jersey Boys, the Beach Boys, the Association, and the Mamas and the Papas. Rehearsals start soon, and we're looking forward to a great turnout. So mark your calendars now, April 18th, 7 p.m., so you don't miss a beat. Contact Barbara Sorkin for more details on the Long Cove Singers. And finally, our bocce ball league is set to return after a smash hit inaugural season. The league meets every Wednesday beginning January 4th through February 15th, with one exception, February 8th. The first season included six weeks of great fall fun with over 50 players participating. The final night of the season included a pizza and wing buffet celebration from our Long Cove Clubhouse staff. A huge thank you goes out to Ron Denty, now better known as Bocce Czar, for his hard work in securing prizes each week, marketing to the players, and officiating games. He and his wife Gail happen to be our six-week champions too. So congratulations to both of you and thanks again for all of the players for joining us each week.
Well, that's going to do it for this special edition of your Long Cove Club Insider. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Lauren Thompson, and we'll see you around the club.